In this video, I want to talk about a few things that I went through as I was trying to teach myself how to code and become a self-taught programmer that now, as I've done this for a few years, I realized was perfectly normal, but at the time it was very discouraging and kind of impacted my learning and made me feel like giving up a few times. And I'm sure that many of you are feeling some of these things or going through some of these things that I went through. When you first get started, teaching yourself how to code, you're gonna feel extremely lost. You're gonna see code for the first time and you may feel a little bit over your head. You're not gonna know what programming language you should learn. You're not gonna know what tech stack you should learn. You're not gonna know even how to get started, really. You're gonna have to figure out a lot of stuff on your own and that's just part of the process and it's perfectly normal. I talked about this a little bit, but I wanna dive into it a bit more. Things are gonna be really, really hard for you to understand. Even the basics are really, really hard when you're first getting started and it's gonna take you a while to understand things and it's gonna take you a while to become proficient in this. You're not gonna just pick one tutorial and it's gonna click and you're gonna just get it and everything's gonna be hunky-dory and you're gonna get a job the next day. No, it's gonna take you a long time to understand what's going on and it's gonna take you a long time to figure things out. Also, you're gonna forget stuff like right after you learn it, like immediately after you learn it. Like you're gonna do a tutorial and then you're gonna try to implement the stuff that you've learned in that tutorial and you're gonna literally forget every single thing that you're learning. And that's okay because the truth is as a software developer, Google is your best friend. And I remember feeling like I was cheating when I was Googling stuff, when I was learning how to code. But the truth is as a professional software developer, I literally Google everything. And I wish I kind of would have known that when I first got started because when I would forget stuff, I, I, I would feel bad that I had to go back to the tutorial and reference it. And it led me to basically worry too much about trying to remember every single thing that I was learning. And it made me kind of like stagnate a little bit rather than continuing to just move forward and try to learn the next thing. And to add to that, as you learn stuff and you start actually understanding what's going on and you realize the tutorials are kind of becoming pretty easy and you feel like you're, you're able to do things on your own, you're going to realize that being able to implement all the stuff that you learn is also going to be very difficult. And it's totally normal to sit there and stare at a blank text editor. And it just goes back to like what I just finished saying, just Google it. Like the, when you want to go build something, Google every single step along the way and just build it. Don't get too hung up on trying to remember everything. Eventually you'll patch something together by using Google and Stack Overflow and YouTube videos and tutorials that you've used and you'll have your own little Frankenstein app that you've built and you'll be super proud of it. It'll look awful, it'll look terrible, it'll probably have bugs, but it'll be yours that you built from scratch and it'll be super encouraging in your progress as a self-taught developer. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this enough, but you're gonna get stuck and you're gonna get stuck off Often. It's not just gonna happen when you're first getting started and you just try to build your first couple little things on your own. It's gonna continue to happen for the rest of your career as a software developer. It won't happen as often and you'll learn a lot of stuff, but every time you come across a new problem, you're gonna be stuck and it's normal. It's, it's, it's a very normal part of being a software developer. It goes back to like what I was saying, you're gonna have to Google stuff a lot and getting stuck is a part of the process and you need to know that it's okay to have to look for the answer. It's okay to ask for help. Even senior level devs get stuck and then they have to talk with other senior level devs or turn to the internet for answers just like the rest of us do. Just move through it, do what you have to do in order to get unstuck and just keep going until you get stuck again. So I always recommend people network when they're learning how to code. I recommend that people go to meetups. I recommend that people try to find hackathons and groups that they can talk to other developers in. But I remember when I was learning how to code and I heard people say the same thing I just said that, you know, I needed to go to meetups and whatnot. I remember going to my first few meetups and just feeling so out of place and so like I wasn't supposed to be there like everybody was 
more experienced than I was, everybody was smarter than me, all of them were real developers and I wasn't. And I realized after you show up to a few meetups and you you make a few friends, it gets a lot easier. And, and then you realize that developers are just people too. And meeting these people can help you continue to want to learn and can be very encouraging. So while we're on the topic of feeling like shit that you don't belong at a meetup, let's also talk about feeling like shit because of all the self doubt that you're gonna have and all the doubts that are gonna come with learning how to code on your own. You're gonna feel like you're not cut out for this stuff. You're gonna feel like you're not smart enough. You're gonna feel like you can't get hired without a degree or without a boot camp certificate. You're gonna feel like everything is not going to go your way and that this is all a big waste of time because nobody's going to want to hire a self-taught developer. Here's the thing and this is why I tell people like if I could do this stuff anyone can. I I'm a high school dropout. All of my work experience was customer service and industry service related stuff. I waited tables, I parked cars, and I never had a tech job in my life until I set out to learn how to code when I was in my early 30s and got my first job as a developer when I was 32 years old. If I could do it, you can do it. And that's why I tell you that the self-doubt is normal. I went through it. You're probably gonna go through it, but realize that this is something that can be done. And if you stick it out, you'll be all right. And a couple more things about the self-doubt that I wanna add before I close out this video is that you're gonna feel like the projects that you've built and your portfolio suck. The truth is they probably do, but they're good for the level that you're at. And these are things that you're gonna continue to improve as you continue to learn. So your portfolio will look nicer over time. Your projects will get better over time. I, I did a video where I talked about like my portfolio and I showed my portfolio from the beginning when I first got started building it all the way up until I got like my last job. So it's, it's an outdated video, but it shows a lot of that progression of what I went through over years of learning how to code and being a professional developer and improving my portfolio. And my early projects were awful. They were patchwork work together. Like I said, you're going to patchwork a lot of your stuff together and have your little Frankenstein baby apps. I had my own Frankenstein baby apps and all that crap on my portfolio. But the truth is that that's okay because there's levels to this stuff. And when you're first getting started, you just have to be good enough to be a junior developer and to get hired at that first job. And people who see your portfolio and your projects when you're first getting started and you're starting to apply for jobs, understand where you're at. A senior developer who might be interviewing you, will see your stuff and know that you're a junior developer. But the fact is that if you build those things yourself and you're able to talk about all the stuff that went into building them, that's what makes you a good candidate. So don't get hung up on your stuff looking like shit. Don't get worried that it isn't as good as someone who has five years of experience because you're not applying for jobs that are requiring five years of experience. So don't feel bad if your stuff looks like garbage. It's okay it'll get better and it's not going to hurt you in the process of getting that first job on the subject of getting that first job. You're not going to feel job ready. I remember when I was learning how to code, I did not feel job ready up until the point that I got hired. It took me going to my first few meetups and talking to other developers and, and they helped me realize that I was job ready and gave me some pointers on how I could start applying and where to start looking. And that was really beneficial for me. And that's why I always recommend networking like I mentioned before. But if you're not feeling job ready, that's perfectly fine. If you've been doing this for a while, I always tell people start applying before you feel ready because you don't know what an employer is looking for. Worst thing that happens if you don't hear anything or you get a rejection email, no big deal. Best thing that could happen is you get a first interview and you get your foot in the door and you're able to sell the shit out of yourself and tell them why they should hire you and why you're so damn eager to become a developer and why you're the perfect person for the job. And that might just be what you need to get that first job. All right. With all that said, I hope that me sharing this stuff with you was helpful. If you found value in it, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos on me talking about learning how to code and whatever the hell else I talk about on this channel, make sure to subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.